In this video, our goal is to talk about how to apply and remember the basic formulas for the sums and differences of cubes. So if you're able to factor an expression into the sum of two cubes, like a cubed and b cubed, you can rewrite this as the product of two expressions. You could rewrite it as a plus b times a squared minus a b a times b plus b squared and then let's say you're given an expression and you can rewrite it or it's given to you as the difference of two cubes so a cubed not plus b cubed but minus b cubed now what's the formula and then we'll talk about how these things can be almost easily memorized uh, or applied here, we take a and subtract b, and then multiply that by a squared plus ab, and then plus b squared. Okay, so I want to say before we talk about uh, my way of remembering these expressions, I should tell you that what I often do is just to re-test uh, this product and see if it actually equals this term right here. So I would actually do the long multiplication of this term times this one, and I would know I set it up correct if it equals this term right here, and the same thing above, this times this, does it equal this? You could test it out with long multiplication, and that's what I talk about in other videos. Here I'm talking more about a mnemonic device, or a way of remembering these formulas quickly uh, when you need to. Well, first of all, we should notice that when you're factoring out the sum or the difference of two cubes, what is the same in both of them? Well, in both of them, we're adding the second term to the second power. So in both formulas, regardless if we have the sum or the difference of cubes, we add this last term to the second power. Also, you should notice that in the middle here, we multiply both a and b in both cases. And also in both cases, right? the first term is the first cube, but to the second power, Right? So in both cases, it's a to the second power. Okay, now now what about the rest? Well, again, we add the b squared. We always multiply a, b in the middle. We have a squared in both. And in the first term, we both just add or subtract either a or b to the first power. What about the rest? Well, I, what I notice right away is here, when we're taking the difference of two cubes, the first expression over here is subtraction and we are taking the sum of two cubes, the first term over here adds both a and b. What else do I notice? Well, here when we are taking the difference of two cubes, we start off the second term right here by adding a squared to a b. But when we took the sum of two cubes, we started by subtracting. And that tells me everything I need to know. In general, what we could say, if we're thinking about this and maybe a way that we can remember it, a cubed plus or minus b cubed will equal what? Well, you take the a and then you repeat the sign. So put repeat the sign. So if you're, or the operation you could say, so if it's a cubed plus b cubed, it's going to be a plus b. If it's a cubed minus b cubed, it's going to be a minus b. You repeat whatever sign appears here. Now in the second part, the second term, we always start with a squared, and then um, the opposite sign, I'll put op, op, -P, sign. So in both cases, again, like with the difference of two cubes, we added. With the sum of two cubes, we subtracted. So it's the opposite sign or opposite operation. Then we multiply a, b, and then we add, you always add, b squared. And that is kind of how I think about this formula right here. Now, that being said, let me just get my eraser out here. Clear this off. Let's just look at a problem and see how to apply this formula really quick. A uh, real introductory type problem. What do we do? Well, let's just make it uh, something simple. Something like, ooh, I don't know, r to the third power plus 27. 
and then we'll look at r to the third power. Oops, let's use a different color though there. Oops, plus 27. And then r to the third power minus 27. So the sum of two cubes and the difference. Okay, so how do we deal with a problem like this? Well, the first thing we want to do is to rewrite it as the sum of two cubes, right? So this first term is in the right form. It's r to the third power, that's a cube. The second term, 27, how can we rewrite that as a cube? Well, if we think of the number 3 to the third power, that is 3 times 3 times 3, that is 27. So notice we've taken 27 and rewritten it as some variable, like b, to the third power. Right? And it's a, we don't have a variable here, we have a number. And now we can use our formula. a, repeat the sign b. So that's in this case it's going to be r, right? Think of the r as the a, plus 3, just the base there. And that times what? Well, we start with a squared, in this case the first term squared, r squared. And now opposite sign, so we're adding here, right? So we subtract. And now we multiply a and b, or r times 3, which we typically write as 3r, or 3 times r. It's just uh, using the number goes first, right? That's the coefficient here. And then we add b squared. So add, in this case, 3 squared. And this is the factorization of this sum of cubes. And you could write it like this, r plus 3 times r cubed minus 3r plus 9. I'm just squaring the 3. And you could stop there. Now, this looks a little different when you're dealing with the difference of two cubes. Now we take, we re, first, we, of course, we rewrite it as the difference of two cubes. So r cubed minus 3 cubed. And this is going to end up being what? Well, we go a repeat sign b. So r minus, repeating the sign, 3 times r squared, opposite sign, we were subtracting before, so now we add r times 3, or 3 times r, and then we add 3 squared. And that's it, right? I, we can rewrite this again by squaring the 3, that might be more acceptable there. And we're done. This is the idea, it's, it's just the simple idea that you can take the sum of two cubes, or the difference of two cubes, and rewrite them as the product of two other factored expressions. And this might seem useless to you, but really, I mean, this is really great because now what we're able to do, right, we have a quadratic here and here, and we can deal with that even further. But oops, I know it's a mistake. I'm not sure if I said it right, but here it shouldn't be r cubed. Of course, it should be r to the second power. I apologize for that, because in our formula, of course, it says a to the second power. So r is our first term, and we're squaring it. All right, hope this helps.